81K in 30 days with print on demand t-shirts. There's going to be some terms that you hear in this industry that you're like, what does that even mean? And one of them is horizontally scaling. So what I'm gonna show you is how this guy that did $81,000 in 30 days with print on demand shirts, how he can horizontally scale and make more money. Stick around. Okay, so horizontally scaling. If you didn't hear it the first two times I said it in the intro, this is what it is. So it's an old school technique of taking one idea that's working in one niche and then putting it in as many different niches as possible. So once you've got success with one, you wanna test with another three to five, see if you can get legs there, and then if you do, then you scale it far and wide, as far and wide as you possibly can. So Tom from Viral Style, and if you're not following him on TikTok, I suggest you do it because it's a very, very high value account. He gives you tons of ideas, shows you what sellers are doing, and the potential is insane. So he's Tom from Viral Style on TikTok, and if you have not seen their platform, make sure you check it out as well. So it's another one of those print-on-demand platforms that you can use without needing a website. All right, so I'm gonna take you over to TikTok and show you Tom's account and the video I'm actually talking about and then get the idea and then show you how we're gonna scale it out. In between without having to put out any money up front and when you get sales, we act. Hey guys, this print on demand seller did $81,000 in profit in 30 days with just one design using print on demand. What's up guys, my name is Tom Bell. I run viralstyle.com, a print on demand platform. And if you don't know what print on demand is, it's a way for you to create and sell t-shirts, coffee mugs, posters, and everything in between without having to put out any money up front. And when you get sales, we actually handle all the printing, packing, and customer service for you. So it's a really done for you service. Guys, you gotta check this out. Now, as always, here's some proof. Here's his today's stats, March 22nd, over $1,100 in profit. The last seven days, he's done. Something to note on that profit too, unlike Shopify, the money that you see there, the profits, is actually what you get to keep off the top, less you add expenses. Done almost $20,000 in profit in the last 30 days. He has done $81,496. His available payout here is what he has not withdrawn yet out of his profits, okay? I get a lot of messages about that. As an insider of the company, I get to see all the sales that are happening. And when I come into work and I see a nice sales spike, I know a seller is scaling a design, so I always check them out. And they always blow my mind at how simple they are. I reached out to this guy and he said that I could show you guys, so let's check it out. And here's the winning design. What part of these equations don't you understand? Well, honestly, none of them. <laughs> right, now we have our idea. We're going to use exactly what he just showed us there. We've just seen that there's tons of potential in this particular phrase. So right here, you can put it into any different niche. There is a ton I can think of off the top of my head. Bikers, hunters, um, cycling, mountain bikers. There's so many, and that's just the top. If you want more, make sure you download my 1000 plus niche list below. It's a free ebook, and you'll be able to scale this one out far, far and wide and make a hell of a lot of money. So. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to come over to Etsy. So I want to find something that's very similar. So I'm going to look for cycling. It's a, just a niche that I've enjoyed over the years. I actually do like riding bikes. So I'm like, if I can find a bike manual type image that shows me the different elements of that particular bike frame or whatnot, then we've got a good shot of making that same design. So let's go. Bicycle SVG. And this is where the fun begins. You need to look through all this stuff to see if there is something in here. The other way you could do it is going into Google and typing in bicycle manual PNG. So you're actually getting a file. So this is actually pretty cool, but I'm not sure if that is something we can use. Yeah, that's potential. It's actually a cool looking file. What you need to do is come over here and check out to see if that will let us have a commercial license on this, meaning we can sell it again. I'm not convinced that's a good one to try. So back to the drawing board and let's go. The further you dive in these pages, the more chance that you're going to find something unique that somebody else hasn't seen before. So keep going. Ah, and look, there we go. Here's a good one. Hopefully the pieces or the text on that is exactly what we're after. Let's get in there, have a look. Yes, this is looking good. Handlebar, brake levers. 
bar ends, head tube, seat post clamp. That is perfect. So now we've got to check to see if this seller is going to allow us to resell it. Commercial license. We also offer a uh, we also offer a basic commercial license for this design for you to be able to sell it as a physical product. Yes, we can sell up to 800 pieces. Fantastic. All right. So the next step is making sure you actually buy that. So buy it. Okay, so next you're going to want to set up a viral style account. Go to storehacks.com forward slash viral style. I'll put a link in the description below. But once you have your viral style account, we need to create the design that we're going to sell. So for that, what I use is Canva. Canva's absolutely incredible. When I first started, I was using Pixelmator. I had to teach myself Photoshop. But now we've got Canva and it's really good and it's super, super cheap. So if you are going to use Canva, make sure you get a pro account because you need to download that transparent PNG. And I've got a link for that in my bio below. So once you're in Canva, we want to change this to black. The shirt size is 11 inches by 13 inches or <clears throat> 11 inches wide, 13 inches deep. So we're just using black as the background, as the canvas. So we're going to bring in that other image as well. This is an extremely easy way to start designing as well because if we go to somewhere like Etsy and get the base design, it makes our job so much easier. Or if we're using a design style as inspiration, a winning style that we know sells and just emulating it with our own unique phrase or design on that, it makes your job as a designer much easier. I can't design from scratch. I don't know who can. All right, so you need to upload that image that you downloaded. Now you need to upload that design you just had. There we go, beautiful. Blow it up so we can use it to the full size of that canvas. We need people to be able to share exactly what this shirt's about. What about this particular product makes someone want to buy it? It's the fact that they have this in-depth knowledge about this actual niche. It's a call to arms for all the other people that are in that niche as well. They want to get a laugh. They want to show people who they are. So now we've got that. I can't believe we actually found this image, by the way. We need text, nice and bold. Add a heading. What part of, make that white. Sick. There's our design. How simple was that? Now, your job. Go and find phrases. Go and play around finding new phrases like this that you can use, that you can go out there and test for yourself. And once you find those winners, do you already have winners in your past catalog? Take them. Do this process. Find other niches to go into and find success. Try a different country. Try a different language. Where the barrier to entry is greater, there'll be less competition and a lot more money for you. So now we need to download this. Transparent background. So once it's downloaded, we need to upload it to Viral Style. So come back to their dashboard, go create. Short sleeves, select, go black, upload image. Adjust it to the right size. There we go, make sure there's no red on that border there and go next. I only want it on one, two, maybe three products at most. Sometimes too many options reduces your conversion rate. So go next. I'm going to price this at $24.99. Because when you connect, when you hit those emotional triggers, the price doesn't matter. They're going to buy. Okay, next. Fill this in, hilarious bike, uh, cycling shirt. All right, fill in your description. I'm just gonna cut and paste for now, go through. Category, go sports, tags, cycling. 
bicycle, biking, biker, because weirdly they're called bikers as well. Read the terms of service and then go launch. And here we have our t-shirt that we can sell. So what we need to do, all we do is right click this image. That image is the ad creative we can use. We don't need to go and put it on a model. We're not selling people, we're selling this phrase. We're emotionally triggering our targets on Facebook or TikTok, wherever you're selling this, and they're buying the shirt. That's what we want their attention to be pulled to straight away. So don't get too fancy with your ad creators because that's not what sells the shirt. It's the phrase that pays. So we take that URL there and put that into our ad platform, TikTok or Facebook, like I just said. That is how you horizontally scale. This is the first of three to five that you would test once you've had that one winner. After that, once you start getting sales in those other niches, then you go far and wide, as far and wide as possible to make as much money as possible. If you need that niche list, make sure you download it from the link in my description below. See you in the next one. I really hope you enjoyed today's training. If you did, make sure you like below to let me know that you did enjoy it so I can create more content for you that you find helpful in the future. If you've got any questions or comments and you wanna share your thoughts, make sure you comment below because I want to see them, I wanna hear them. I'm here to help you, I value your opinion. And lastly, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I put out videos all the time, multiple videos each week. So if you don't subscribe, you may miss out on the future trainings to help you succeed in your own print on demand journey. See you in the next one.